Hello, everybody, and welcome to another figure study where we appreciate the form in Transformers. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Generations Crosscut. And this is he in his teeny little semi futuristic looking hatchback thing. It's, uh, it's interesting. Now, I do have to say, right off the bat, I'm noticing this is one of the handful of figures I own that uh, actually has windows all the way around. Because there's actually nothing in the back here. So, yay! Uh, yeah, the overall detail is nice. You know, he's got little vents on the side there. Plenty of detail in the, uh, in the front. A little Autobot logo that's a little bit kind of I don't know, the, that shade of red doesn't really pop as much as it could, I think, on this gray. Um, but, you know, some overall nice colors, even painted the taillights. It's, I mean, it's not bad. It's it's a little weird, I think, though, that they painted the edges of this uh, silver. Like, here it's fine, because this is like a separate thing. But this is supposed to be kind of matching the rest of the plastic, and it absolutely is not. That just stands out a lot and it's a little weird even the gray plastic like this none of this is painted but like this doesn't quite match this and it's just a little odd but you know the paint that is there is appreciated nice little stripe there always appreciate it when they paint the insides of the uh like when they paint the hubcaps and i really like this nice dark kind of royal blue that they have going on the windows like it's it's nice. It's tinted enough that you don't see all the robot junk on the inside, but it's clear enough that you can tell that they're obviously windows and see-through. So it's nice. The front here, I definitely like that they got the headlights picked out, but this is just like a mass of black going through the middle. You can't even make out. Like, there's a lot of nice little details in there that you just can't see, which is a shame. But, you know, nice little burgundy-ish car lips down there <laughs> God, this, this close it looks kind of like a monkfish look it up um yeah that, that kind of burgundy carries over here too which isn't bad and then the taillights kind of yeah they're a thing that exists not bad on the underside kind of squished up robot but again not bad yeah he's he's all right i'm i'm not really I don't know. This whole like swirly wannabe silver plastic is a little weird to me. And I still am kind of weirded out by how much this stands out. <laughs> Just having the silver trim there. But overall, not a bad car. Not particularly like the individual little bits of paint look nice, but the overall color is just kind of eh. It doesn't really, you know, looks almost kind of generic in a way, which is a shame because there are a lot of little bits in here that make him seem a bit more interesting but you really have to kind of get in there and look and speaking of getting in there and looking and also speaking of segues let's take a look at his robot mode cross cuts robot mode is okay um right um well let's see so my issues with this are kind of in line with what a lot of other people's issues are like he's got the the dopey looking clown feet that have practically no heels so standing him up is a pain especially because he's kind of back heavy uh the color again this gray just isn't doing it for me i mean i do like this kind of shiny burgundy color that they got and you see more of it now because you've got the uh you know the head still that little bit in the grill the hands, the feet, the underwear. <laughs> it looks okay. It's, you know, I, I like the color distribution. I like the, I like how there's like little bits of the same colors in most of the different sections of his body. So it kind of ties the entire color scheme together. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this gray. And again, like that Autobot symbol just doesn't really pop. It's, eh. I don't know. I mean, shape-wise, he looks fine, aside from the goofy feet. I like the, uh, you know, the wings. Whoops. 
I like the wings that he's got going on back there. And, you know, this backpack isn't really that bad. Actually looks not bad at all. Just not a fan of the feet. And honestly, he's got, like, I keep saying honestly. <laughs> I'm not too big on the head either. It just kind of looks like, I mean, I hate to say it, but it kind of looks like someone decided to do a knockoff of Optimus Prime. Like, that, that looks like someone tried to do an Optimus Prime head, but not entirely. And it just, I don't know, it, it doesn't do it for me. And, yeah. And again, more of that gray that I just don't particularly like. But, you know, he has some interesting details that are actually hiding in his uh, robot mode. Like, they actually have some nice details on the insides of the shoulders, which is pretty cool. And, you know, you've got the little bit of detail on the legs and the pelvis area. And, of course, he is a robot, that, or a car that turns into a robot, so he's got the car hood for his chest. Still looks a bit like a monkfish. He's got weird legs. Like, those feet are weird. The legs themselves are weird. Supposedly, you're actually supposed to have them like this which looks a little bit better, but he is absolutely not stable in the slightest if you have his legs like that, so you actually have to put them up like that if you want to have any chance of him actually standing, which kind of stinks. And then these feet. I think they look okay, but I do not care for the, the giant bozo shoes that they the giant bozo shoes thing they got going. I mean, I'm actually cool with, like, I like this little bit of the car that's, like, swept back. I think that looks neat, but I just don't like the overall shape. Yeah. But one of the reasons why I was interested in checking out Crosscut, even though he's, you know, got this kind of lackluster paint scheme, is because he is loaded with weapons. Like, this isn't even accessory territory. This is just, like, he's got everything going on <laughs> with... He's got ordnance all over his body. Flip that down. And last little bit here. Come on. Come on. There's supposedly something that triggers this, and I have yet to figure out what that is. Like, supposedly, there's a thing that you do that just makes this pop out, but I don't know what it is, so I kind of have to pull it. Anyway. So, yeah. This is why I was more interested in Crosscut, and now he doesn't want to stand. Awesome. This is why I was actually interested in him in the first place. Like, the, the forearm guns, whatever these don't necessarily matter to me. I think they honestly look kind of goofy no matter how you have them set up because, yeah. But I really like the missile pods and the shoulders and the uh, the flip-up cannons behind his head. I think they look really, really nice. And I especially like the missile pods and the shoulders because they help break up his color scheme a little bit more because you've got more of that burgundy as well as some yellow in there, which kind of ties into the lights. So that actually looks pretty nice. I'm still not big on the overall gray, though. And it doesn't really change his silhouette much. Except for that. But yeah, I mean, color-wise, it definitely helps. And he definitely looks like he can take care of himself. Yeah, he's, he's all right. It's just the feet. I do not like those feet aesthetically or mechanically. <laughs> But anyway, that has been my look at Generations Crosscut. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.